Okay, so I am 33, I almost said 32, 33 weeks in two days today. Um, and I know it's probably been about five-ish weeks since I've done an update. Um, and I, we just, you know, we're super busy with the move and everything. Thankfully, um, if you guys saw the house tour, we are all moved in um, and everything went really smoothly. And we're just like super thankful to be in a new place. You can see I'm here in the boys' room and um, it's like messy. It was like all nice and put together when I showed it to you, but this is like real life, all this, <laughs> you know, four year olds, right? What are you gonna do? But um, anyways, so yeah, 33 weeks and two days pregnant. And um, I am like so close to the home stretch. I can't, I can't even believe it. Like I'm not in the home stretch yet, but I am like weeks away from the home stretch. And it's just like, pfft. in four weeks, I'll be full, full term. So that's insane. I don't think that, um, I, I don't think that I'll go into labor early. Um, but you never know. So I don't know. Like, that's another thing. I'm so anxious to just, you know, just, just see how everything's going to play out. Um, and I'm getting just like so excited. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like not going to jack with my hair in this video. It's like a mess anyway, so it's not even worth it. But, um, so yeah, I went to the midwife yesterday and a couple things that she found out, she, um, believes that the baby is posterior. So that means he's facing out. A lot of people call it like a sunny side up baby. Um, she doesn't think it's going to be a problem because she does believe that he'll turn around, um, when it comes time to go into labor. Sometimes I think I was reading that you, they can sometimes stay posterior until, like right before you go into labor and then they turn. So, um, I was kind of worried about it when she first told me because there can be complications with that. Um, you know, if the baby doesn't fit or, um, it makes labor more painful. And as you guys know, I am having, um, an unmedicated labor. So, I mean, I, I know either way it's going to hurt, but if I, it can hurt less, I mean, that would be great. So hopefully, um, We'll see. We're just going to have to play it by ear. You, you can't plan for this kind of stuff. And so you just have to roll with the punches and um, it, it, it's all going to be fine. I, I keep having dreams and just thinking about and putting out a lot of positive energy um, around having a natural childbirth and, um, you know, just doing a lot of reading and just educating myself on everything. Um, and I feel really confident, um, that I'm going to have a, a quick, you know, natural labor and delivery. I, my labor, um, and delivery with Connor was, um, a total of seven hours in probably like 15 minutes of pushing, probably less than that actually. Um, but that was with an epidural and laying on my back in a hospital bed. It was a very typical hospital birth. So this time, um, I do want to try different birthing positions. Um, I am allowed to labor in the water at this hospital that I'm delivering at, but I'm not allowed to actually give birth in the water. So we'll see. Um, you know, we'll see. You never know. Like I said, you can't be, you can, you can plan uh, as much as you want, but you don't ever actually know what's going to happen. So you can just prepare yourself, but you don't know what's going to happen. Remember, don't get in front of the camera, honey, because mommy can't pause it. Don't get in front of the camera, okay? Um, so anyways, yeah, and I'm weighing at 166 pounds, which is up um, way more than I need to be. So I, I need to get control of that and um, just reevaluate my eating and um, how active I'm being because I feel good and I feel physically fit for the most part but um, I do feel like I have been packing on a lot of a lot of weight don't touch this or else this will this will fall okay you be a good boy for mommy look at me you can come sit come sit on my lap and you can you can be in the video okay so um anyways yeah they're not like super concerned with it but it's just one of those things it's like Kelsey you need to slow down um Come here, please don't, please, honey, come here. Um, so yeah, we, um, we have everything for the baby so far, um, or, you know, as of now, um, all of his cloth diapers and his clothes and his blankets and his this and his that, we, we've got everything. So I'm just like, feels so good to be prepared because I really was not prepared with Connor, um, this, at this point, it, things were, sorry guys, can you please get up? Come here. Please. Okay, stop, please. You're not allowed to play over there. Go play over here. Um, so anyways, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and show you my belly because my child is, um, you know, 
John. doing his best to ruin this video like usual. It's okay. I know. I'm in your room. I'm in your territory. I should know it better, right? Um, okay, so this is my 33-week belly. I don't have any... Maybe I should probably examine myself better. Yeah, I don't believe I have any new stretch marks. Um, Connor. And my, my line is starting to show up a little bit, but it's still not really there that much. Um, it was super dark with Connor, like really, really dark. So I just like don't even understand why I don't have one this time. What I do have a lot of is the pronounced veins which I don't know if I remember like seeing them that much when I was pregnant with Connor. Um, but yeah, and my belly button is like totally weird looking, super weird looking. <laughs> but um, anyway, so yeah, guys, everything, um, everything's going good, obviously. Um, I don't have a whole ton to update on other than just really normal stuff. Um, heartburn, I'm hardly sleeping. Like most women, pregnant women at this stage of pregnancy, um, definitely having pregnancy, like insomnia, and just, you know, hard to breathe, just all the typical sucky stuff about pregnancy, but, you know, it's, it's just a little fleck compared to, you know, all the wonderful, all the good, so, anyways, um, thank you so much for watching, guys, say thank you for watching my mom, she's goofy. He's like, what are you, whenever I make these, he's like, what are you doing making this? For? Like, who is this for? I don't understand. But, um, all right. So I will talk to you guys soon. Let me know if you have any questions or whatever, anything like that. Um, oh. And I hope you're all doing well. Let's turn the video off.